Alright guys, so we are in for push. I don't think we've done this session actually, it's quite nice. So um, I think today is just going to be just throw some tips around, um, going over push mechanics, things like that, push tips, chest, shoulders, triceps, um, a little bit of mindset and just kind of how I feel today. Um, so yeah, yeah, so we'll get warmed up. First movement is going to be this prime incline press and I'll run through it slowly. She can sit Baby says lit, it's lit Got your bank account in a cube If she said it loud, it's the truth Baby wanna ride, she can ride I just had um <laughs> Just had a sports massage yesterday so I feel a bit tender from it to be fair He did say to take some ibuprofen but I didn't Little thing with these Where the machine is quite low It puts a lot of pressure on your shoulder joints So what you can do you just stick this little clip for a barbell. You just stick it there. And then all it does is just lift the machine up a little bit higher. So it just makes it comfier to get back into. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to hurt my joints. I just want to hurt the muscle. And then you always got to unpick your wedgie. First set, six to nine reps. Second set, 10 to 12. I got eight reps last time. So ideally, I wanna get a better eight reps. Nice and smoother, better technique, or nine. Seven and three quarters. Whew. They felt like nicer reps though. So sometimes taking a hit and actually getting less but better, I'll always say that. Better quality over quantity. Little thing when you're kind of doing anything like, I always think any movement, whether it's a press or like a pull, if I'm pressing, I want to think about pushing my elbows and biceps together. So instead of thinking like hands come together here, we want to think about pushing instead that bicep and elbows together because it's going to shorten the chest a lot more. You can do this or you can do that. And the connection, the stretch and drive in the chest can be far greater. I told her meet me in the back. That ass fat and she don't know how to act When she back that thing up on a nigga, it's a wrap I'm just tryna hit it once, I'ma take it to the back Think she came in with a man, but she leaving with me, yeah Cause she know that I'm the man Said she got a plan and she know me from the gram Oh man, I think she might could be a fan Made me think twice so it might could be a scam, oh yeah Might be fire But one thing I hate is a liar Cause I don't know who you was prior Tryna set a nigga up, you could try for a walk These hoes ain't low Same as last time I got 10 reps last time, got 10 reps there, but it was just a smoother 10, a better quality 10. I'll take that. We're gonna go for chest flat. So this is a new machine. It's been here a while, but I've only just, I've only ran it once. So this is my second time doing it. So I set my, my base weight before. Um, I actually did have a spot on it. So today I won't have a spot. So. I'll probably work with the same weight, see how we feel, but it's just about making sure, just getting all the setup nice and accurate. 
Join the threes on my feet, ring the bell, buzz four. Got five on it, boy, you gon' need a couple more. 6 p.m., now we headed out the door. Lucky number seven, yo, meet up on A Street. Chanel number nine, got a smellin' like a pastry. Now we on 10, she was rollin' up a great tree. When you press on this machine, it gets really heavy on the press out. So it feels good here, feels good here, and it gets so heavy here. So, it's always fun. This is why it's just, this is why it's really important to just stay with the same exercise and not mix it up. At the end of the day, you're going to progress by getting better at the same movement. So whether that's like a squat or lunge, two basic exercises for your legs, right? Just get really good at doing squats and lunges, but stick to Again, it's like sticking to a training program, be consistent with it, and run that movement up into a point where it plateaus for potentially two to three weeks. Then you can think about, well, maybe it's time to swap that movement out and try something else. But until then, just get really good at being pretty boring. <laughs> three and a half plates I got for nine. And I think I did that as a spot, so. I'll do the same, but on my own. I got nine with someone with a spot. I got eight and a half on my own. We all go through waves of it. And that's obviously just like motivation, right? It's always a big topic. And I kind of get sick about talking about motivation now because if you want to better yourself, if you want to change the current place that you're in, that should be enough motivation to want to be better or want to change. And there's days where you're not motivated, but you know that you just need to show up and do it regardless. And also, it's like the thought of it's always a lot worse. Like there's days, like yeah, 100%, there's days I don't want to go train, work out, but actually when you're in the gym and things like that, it's just, it's fine. It's the thought of doing something that's worse. But I'd always say, just turn around and ask yourself the question, like in six months time, do you want to be in the same position you are now? And hopefully everyone's going to say no. So what do you need to do in order to get out of that situation? You need to put in the work. We was in the trenches, now look how we out here balling. Popped up in the max, now we flooring in the fall. We ain't do a show in like a year. That gets so heavy, bro. <laughs> it's just that lockout. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh. With this machine, obviously, you can adjust where you want the shoulder position to be. So I don't want to be collecting the weight down here. I want to set it here so it's easier just to lift off. And again, comfy lift off doesn't, doesn't go into kind of the joints too much. Biggest thing here, anything on a bench laid, screw your feet into the ground. So imagine screwing them in, drive your hips into the bench, shoulder blades, but like squeeze the bench. Get tight. And notice on the press, my elbows don't come all the way down. They literally just come below the shoulder height. So it's about staying in kind of that muscles like active range. So it's here, here, here. As soon as I feel a little bit of a stretch and tension at the bottom, about there, Elbows drive together, biceps drive together. Here, nice and light. Just getting used to that movement, but not burning out. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me. I did two plates and a 15, so I got 10 reps last time. See how we do today. It really anal. <laughs> I get really anal on like the plates. I'm like, they need to be these plates. <laughs> That's it. 
They need to be a 10 and a five. They need to look exactly the same. OCD mindset. And you know when 50 Cent comes on. Oh, what? Jinx that. I was gonna say, you know when 50 Cent comes on, it's gonna be a good set. And then it cuts out. <laughs> now nothing. Oh no, we're good, we're good, we're back. Or you do that, you spill it everywhere. Me, you can oh, come on, guys. Me if you feel like 550 on the fire stick, you can get high with me. That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dot. Same again. Ten reps. It did feel easier. Did feel easier. That's the thing. Gets the point, guys. Where like progress isn't gonna be like mind blowing every day, but if you can just get a little bit better, you're good. From the block with plain clothes and police, straight up to the top with bank rolls and rollies. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fire stick. You can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fire stick. You can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? It's always something to consider is that so I had sports massage yesterday. And he actually worked into my delts a little bit yesterday. So sometimes you have to think about actually when they've worked into the delt area, they're potentially a little bit more inflamed, a little bit more sore. So training today, a little bit more fatigue still. So always things to consider. This could apply to anything. If you're moving house or something like that, and then you train the next day, you're gonna be more fatigued, right? So always things to consider. We'll go back into the other room and we'll go side delts. This is by far the most, most messed up exercise I see. Um, side delt raises, so coming out to the side. What we want to focus on here, literally, nice, and, nice proud posture, and then I want to think elbows higher than the dumbbell. So the elbows, almost like a swing. So the elbows are going to lead all the way to the top. We want to keep the elbows higher than the dumbbells. You'll see a lot of time, this happening. When actually, we want to go elbows high and lead from that point. Nice and simple. So, just think about elbow wants to be the highest point. And the dumbbell, imagine like you're pouring a drink. So pinky high, thumb down, like you're pouring a drink. There. 10 to 15 reps, and then we'll do a double drop set. We'll do the last work in set here, heavy set, 10 to 15. Go into one drop set, so reduce the weight by one dumbbell, one dumbbell weight. Rep till failure, another drop set, rep till failure. Switch here. Vibes on something mystical. I don't say shit, my spirit do. Ain't no telling you what he might do. Write the songs, any real too. Trap jumping, it's a rage cage. Short circuit in the mainframe. Bet I'll be on in a minute though. I just made me a couple of centiphones. I flip with all at the register. Could've lived it twice if I wanted to, but I cherish this. I'm on my character. I'm a problem with the predicate. See, back then I was trapped in with the padded pin to make it happen. I was at risk, but that's past tense. Now they back some pin, nigga tap in. All of these girls, but I'm blacklist. Couldn't see me through the glasses. Crack this shit, kick the door in with the tactics In the game, it's no practice With the passport going up on a porn swell, yeah, let them stamp it Cut the song on a dancing, then I turn this to a mansion Queen say she won't fall through, she want me let her work a magic Turn the beat into a classic, hey, remember I was at her reckless. Don't ask me how I'm doing, but you know I'm fantastic Money on my mind That's your cardio, cardio's done Really good, I love a drop set it's a nice way to get a lot of volume, a lot of volume into the muscle. Back into the other room again. I'm gonna do a cable fly. Last chest movement. 
a really good thing to always remember as well. Like, the order of your exercises, keep them as accurate as possible. Like, I just make sure that if you have to find, like, say for example, if a piece of kit's busy, ask how many sets someone's got, ask to jump in, or find an alternative that's the same movement pattern. So if you're doing a flat dumbbell press and no bends are free, do a flat chest press machine, do a flat Smith machine, barbell, whatever that is. Try to keep to the same exercise if you can and keep to the same order and move them halfway. It makes a massive, massive difference. And there's a reason why I would program certain exercises in a certain order. Vice versa, my training program is given to me, certain order. Very similar on this one, guys. I'm not coming all the way back here because that feels uncomfortable on my shoulders. So when I'm there, I'm getting that stretch. As soon as I feel that stretch, that tension, keep it in that tension point. Elbows and biceps drive together. Imagine squeezing that in the middle of your chest and try and break it. Stretch, squeeze with this one now. So two sets, 10 to 15 reps, but just focusing more on like a three to four second eccentric. So nice and slow, strong set, strong drive. Low body as she homemade, wrap my city at the home game. Up and down and go both ways, and the sprinter is taking them both lanes. Hopping, we zoom in, the package be booming. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. She picking and choosing and love at the moment. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. They cannot do what we doing, you see. I swear to God, I'm the only person that sweats like this in this place. <laughs> I just leak. Oh. But yeah, guys, that eccentric is so important. That's the point where, from that stretching point, that's when all the muscle fibers are tearing. So number one, you've got to control that because you're in a dangerous position. And that's what we want. We want muscle fibers to tear and break. So when we rest, we recover, they build back stronger and bigger. That's it, yeah, building muscle. So making sure we damage them in a controlled manner so they grow back with more, pretty much. Very similar to our dumbbell side, like side raises, coming in and targeting that side delt. Chest support, generally, probably one of my favorite movements to be fair. Why I like to do this one, don't hold onto the machine. Imagine you've got dumbbells and you still lead with the elbows. So you're gonna still lead with the elbows, Drive your chest against the pad and think elbows high. And imagine just gripping dumbbells in your hands. And it's a good way to learn how to almost dumbbell lat raise as well, which is great. So it's cool. This set's gonna be 15 to 20 reps. And then it's gonna be a six by six muscle round. So 15 to 20 reps, rest for 10 seconds, six reps. Rest for 10 seconds, six reps. Until all six reps of six sets are done. Swag and splash, that's our old name. I so we in our own lane. Hop and we zoom in the package, we booming. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. She picking and choosing in love with the moment. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. They cannot do what we doing. You see how we moving, we got it, we got it, got it. Mess with the scar, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. All of my bros, we got it, got it. They know for sure we got it, got it. Been on a roll, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, got it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. Been on a roll, we got it, got it. We cannot go. Without it, without it. Last set. Always remember, if you can't get it all the way up, it doesn't matter. There's still pressure and tension in the side delt. Just want to keep it under tension and working the whole time. Three. Baby girl, love my bob and I like me too. Set. Even when it's down here and pulsating, it's still working in that like lengthened range. It's still that long stretch position. So tension's still there. So just keep working. I think with shoulders, they can handle a lot of volume and recover really quickly. I like volume on shoulders and I found it has really paid off. Of course, you always want some heavy pressing, but anything like front, side and back, I think volume's very good. That's it, we literally got two tricep movements and we're all done. Cable crossover, probably like a very, very good movement. I love it, it's probably like, it's super nice. Obviously when you've got the cable, the joint can sit wherever it wants to, nice and comfortable position, wrist movement, 
Obviously, I would just hold it at the ball point, get a nice grip, super easy. Sometimes you can have like uh, handles, you do it with handles, but I think it's quite nice just doing it off the ball point. You want to make sure with this one, we're not... I'll demo it, I can't really explain it. You don't want to be doing... There. Nice and tight, nice and composed. Screw your feet into the ground, elbow tight. Squeeze. Squeeze that tricep as hard as you can. Flex season, I'm roll running, I'm staying all on my tip top. Young man with an old mind, so I ain't worried about slight shit. I be up till sunrise, I'm staying out on my night shift. I got a bottle of bourbon, a bundle of honeys, I'm jiggy, I'm flexing a bit. Figured I hit it and quit it, I'm busy, I ain't got the minutes for texting it, bitch. Came from the gutter with me and my brother, I'm moving my mother right out of the city. Bitch, I'm a star and they know I go hard, so I'm kissing them babies and signing them titties. Go blinging like Chingo, rock star like Ringo. When you're on that last set, whatever it may be, if you can't get the full lockout, don't worry. Keep the tension there and even towards the last end. Keep it here so it's working again in that lengthened range. It's under tension. Just take it till failure. So when you lose that full squeeze, work it till the end on those partial points. I think it's quite a nice machine this. It's like a, um, it's like a dumbbell skull crusher, but just sat at a different angle. That's really nice. Hey, don't stop, shit ain't gonna feed you. I've been all on my grind, so why I need you? Baby girl love my bob and I like me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. Hey, on the piano, don't stop, shit ain't. Two working sets here, 15 to 20 reps, and then we'll do a rest for. So after this set, rest for 10 seconds, keep the weight, and rep till failure. So rest pause, you keep the same weight and rep to a failure. A drop set, you reduce the weight, rep to a failure. We in with the sub and in the cut with it. Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. All the time, stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, sink ships, red cup, blue strips. New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it. Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, keep from smoking in the hallway. Now we got shows, boys feeling like Broadway. Always look both ways. We done, guys. We done. That is our push workout. So, chest, shoulders, triceps, all the pushing movements done. I'm gonna wrap up with abs. Michael's filming me doing enough of abs. So, and you know what I'm gonna be doing? Decline leg lifts, two sets. 10 to 15 reps at the end of each session. Um, but honestly, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, nice, easy workout wrapped up. Well, easy. Very smooth, very efficient. Um, in and out. But I think the biggest thing that maybe over the last month even, um, I've said it before, but your environment's everything. Like, this place is phenomenal. And even since even since kind of, I guess, publicizing it, but being with Steph a little bit more as well. Um, living, pretty much living with an, an incredible athlete really reflects on your routine and things like that. And yeah, you gotta put yourself in a position where it's scary, it's scary. I wasn't happy in London, many of you know this, and I had no intention of moving abroad, but the first year here was really hard. And I feel like the last month or so, it's really showing. So, speak of the devil. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the last month is, um, sometimes it feels like the last five years all happened for a reason. And the last month things are coming together. So, just head in that direction that you know you need to go down. And just be scared, listen to your gut fucking go for it so yeah guys obviously always more videos to come every week so yeah that's it let's get out of here before someone wants the machine <laughs>